Hello dear friends, welcome to our next video and in today's class uh, we are continuing the plant pathology but we are beginning this study on another important and interesting organisms and I also call them little confusing also that is nematodes. I said interesting yes uh, these are just like earthworm what the taxonomists call them as round worms but they are not visible to our naked eye easily and I said confusing because always this organism is confused between pathology and entomology because we study this in both the department and both the studies uh, so I will discuss in general the characteristics morphology and all and this series of videos are all about the nematodes come let's begin nematodes nematodes the term is derived from the greek most of the words are from latin or greek this nematodes is derived from greek and nema in the word nematodes nema means a hair a thread of filament so the meaning of this nematode is the hair like organism nematodes are hair like organisms they are also known as nemas in usa eelworm in europe nematode in india and roundworm by the taxonomist these nematodes based on their feeding habitats they are categorized into few types that is plant feeders those nematodes that feed on plant and the similar way microbial feeders miscellaneous feeders predators and saprophytes but these plant feeders are of special interest to agriculture john needham is one of the greatest scientists in the history of nematodes and the first plant parasitic nematode was the angina triticide it was reported by john needham this angina triticide is causing ear cock in wheat angina triticide is causing ear cock in wheat he reported in the year 1743 let's see the definition of the nematodes the nematodes are triploblastic bilaterally symmetrical unsegmented pseudocinomic and vermiform organisms and if you see the body of the nematode it's elongated spindle shape or fusiform or tapering ends circular in cross section and length is around 0.2 to 11 mm and width is 0.01 to 0.5 mm okay then. in few species the body of the female may be of different shapes such as pear shape or a lemon shape or reniform shape or irregular second shape let's see the diagram of nematodes this is the body structure and the mouth parts here and it has a retracted piercing device the green color what you see is a piercing one from where it sucks the nutrients and it has a nerve ring as it's a arthropod organisms they have very low organization structures and they have a pairing structure and a intestine and they have a ovary a reproductive organ and a reproductive pore it's a female one it has a reproductive pore here and the anus here so the upper layer is cuticle and the pseudocelum occurs between these main digestive tract and the body wall let's see some some of the morphological characteristics one by one now we shall begin the morphology of nematodes the body the body complete body you can imagine the complete body of the nematode contains two tubes one is outer tube the outer tube includes the cuticle layer and the hypodermis layer and the muscle layer and there exists another tube that is the inner tube the inner tube is an alimentary canal or digestive tract where from where the food intake and the uh, excretion parts takes place between those there will be a coelom we shall see that later and that cavity is called as pseudocelom as it is not there is no defined epithelium in that coelom so we call them a pseudocelom and that's about the tubes 
and there exists the unisexual nematodes or bisexual nematodes even the parthenogenetic mode of reproduction also takes place and the sensory organ is cephalic papilla or setae they have the structure called setae that is the sensory organs in nematode now we shall see the reproductive system of the nematodes and in both female and male there will be gonads that is the reproductive organ uh, usually there will be a pair of gonads in which one is active and another will be suppressed let's see the male male has uh, one testis or it may be of two and where one is reduced and one will be active the gonads open into a cloaca spicules will be present in this part from where it copulates with the female and the female has one or two ovaries that is the gonads which open to a centrally located ulva ulva is a part where uh, it interacts with the male and that's about a reproductive system now comes the excretory system excretory pore at pharyngeal region you can remember the diagram where i showed the pharyngeal region there in the central part and at that pharyngeal region there will be a excretory pore a small pore supplied by two lateral lines joined by a transverse canal two lateral lines will be joined by a transverse canal through that pore now we shall see about the critical or the exoskeleton we speak i said there will be two tubes and in the outer tube there will be critical layer this layer is that and it is very protective and tough flexible it contains a three layers one is the cortex one matrix one and fiber one it composed of the uh, chemicals like lipid glycoprotein fibroid collagen and keratin substances and in these nematodes molting takes place amphid it's a pair of chemotactic organs uh, which will be chemically active chemotactic organs located internally in the head of the nematode and there comes the plasmid this is a special structure that is present at the tail of only one class that is sesernentia class and this class is very special because they release a substance that is scented substance that's why its name is also sesernentia now we shall see the next part butse previously i have mentioned about sesernentia in the same class the body wall around the cloaca are modified to this butse what is the use of this butse let's see it helps males to hold the female as a clasping organ during the copulations this butse will help next we shall see the pseudocoelom or pseudocoel what we call the space between i have mentioned about inner tube and outer tube right the space between them is this pseudocoelom in these nematodes we call them as pseudocoelom and they contain the numerous glands and uh, cellular bodies and uh, granular materials all these are floating in the body fluid and they main they helps to maintain the turgidity of the body the next part is hypodermis this hypodermis is below the cuticle layer that is cellular tissue layer beneath the cuticle and they are very metabolically very active as the cuticle importance is very much they keep on secreting and maintaining this cuticle of the nematodes then comes the muscle layer a spindle shaped longitudinal muscle attached to this hypodermis along its entire length along the entire length of the hypodermis this muscle spindle shaped layer will be attached to it that is the muscle layer and it is contractile or non contractile muscles makes synaptic contact with the nerve ring has a synaptic contact with the nerve ring thus i end this video thanks for watching this video and in the next video we'll discussing about the life cycle and the symptoms that causes and all this is about morphology and other characters of nematodes thank you